I spent a big portion of my life being afraid of who I am. And that is mainly because I don't understand who I am. When I look at myself, I see a amalgamation of all the traits that people wanted me to have. I don't know what's me and what's not me. I don't know if any of this is even real. I have a psychotic brain. It's something that I was born with and I experience things that are not based in reality. So who's to say that all of this isn't just a complex delusion? Who's to say that our experience on this earth isn't the universe observing and experiencing itself? How do we know that we're not just a little tiny atom in a, in a million other atoms that make up a million other beings? How does non-living atoms combine together to create living material? What's the difference? I don't understand. And through not understanding, I've done really stupid crap. I don't understand what it's like to have a normal life. I'm one of the, I'm very far from normal. I've had a, I've suffered with alcoholism, cutting, uh, an eating disorder for a while. I mean, I have psychosis, I have depression, anxiety, and I have those negative symptoms associated with psychosis. I have all these different aspects of my life, but there's one thing that I'm still able to do. I keep moving forward. I keep moving. Forward, not that's not an Attack on Titan reference. I legitimately mean I keep moving forward. When I get in, when I get incredibly depressed, when I get incredibly suicidal, I move forward, and that's not figuratively. I get out of my house and I walk. I keep my body moving. I keep my mind thinking. When I hear those voices inside of my head telling me to kill myself, I keep moving. I keep moving forward all the way, all the way through these two decades of my life. I've kept moving forward, and that is what I want you to do. Next time that you are suffering, next time that you feel like you're alone and nobody's here to help you, keep moving forward. Take it from me. I attempted suicide. I was depressed. I know what it's like. I, I know what it's like to have anxiety over the, some of the stupidest things like eyes looking at you through cracks in the door and cracks in the ceiling. I know what it's like to have OCD where you need to wash your hands a certain number of times and brush your teeth for 3 minutes and 33 seconds and floss your teeth for 2 minutes and 22 seconds. I know what it's like. And if I'm able to move forward with it, then so are you. Thank you for watching.